Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. My name is Jade, and this is How to App on iOS. Today we're going to look at a guitar amp simulator. private jokes on here just get ridiculous don't they anyway um i hope you're all doing well today everyone out there in uh, internet land if you're watching over there at facebook i hope you're doing very well why not come and join us over here at the youtube land you can do that too bada bing bada boom bada boom 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 at youtube.com slash jade star or you can follow us on how to app on iOS.com. Did I say that? No, I don't know. Uh, yeah, so you can watch the show there every day live. It's all cool, man. All good in the hood. Um, <laughs> oh, dear. And yes, yes, that sound you heard at the beginning of the show. It sounds like a vape, but it's not a vape. It's a very creepy sound, really. It's a, it's a grown man rubbing his beard in clubhouse can you believe it there was a room open last night in clubhouse that was called stroking my beard I <laughs> and the only person in there was thomas galane <laughs> oh my goodness what the hell was going on last night in that <laughs> clubhouse clubhouse has become a very crazy place folks if you haven't uh, be become a part of clubhouse um and anybody who's here today <laughs> yeah uh, has got a code let let people know in the chat uh, if you've got a, a code to give away um, just you know let, let's say I've got a spare code I've got one or two and maybe you can help people um, <laughs> um, get on to find out more about the crazy beard action that's going on over there oh my goodness and clearly I haven't had enough sleep because I'm too addicted to clubhouse which is really silly but yeah, that's it. All right, let me say hello to everybody before we get into this app today. Um, <laughs> hey, Danny Broderick. Danny Broderick says, hey, Jay, did, did you send the code for the app last night? Actually, I haven't yet because I, I kind of put it out there just for people to email me because I was really, I was a bit busy yesterday, so I didn't get around to many emails. So I think I've got your email address anyway, so I'll try and make a note to send yours out to you. Before saying hello, I just want to um, send a shout out to Colin, who won um, a segment, a copy of Segments. And uh, yesterday I sent him actually the wrong code to a different app. And he was so awesome that he actually didn't use it and let me know. And I was able to send him the right code and he just didn't go ahead and use it. So I think that's really stand up and really honest. So... Well done, Colin, to you for being really honest and making my life a little bit easy because I'm a fool and I'm too tired and I send things to the wrong people. <laughs> so hello, Cold Acre, Tom Rochelle, um, Nina, hello, Joey Helpish, hello. Joey's only here for the beard action, man. He's only here for the beard action. <laughs> Creepy. And um, Gary Hubs, oi, 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 oi. Yeah, man. Um... Who else? Ed B, hello. Um, Russ is here as well for some beard action, baby. Synth Widow, hello. Joe's, she's here for the beard action as well. God, I forget. I forgot how many people were in on the beard thing last night. Maury P, hello. Uh, good to see you. Um, Benedict Stewart, hello. Yeah, let's see anyone else. Harry Vape for the win. Yes, indeed. Uh, the hairiest vape I've ever heard. Hi, Bubba. How are you today? I hope you're going well. And there I see Dr. Zorders. Um, let's see. Hey. Dudes. Jamie, what's going on? Looking forward to your live stream tomorrow. Folks, if you don't follow Jamie's channel, go over and follow it. He doesn't pissy pants about, man. And he's got a live stream happening tomorrow. And his live streams are cool. So go and support him. He's got a great channel and some great shows. And he doesn't. Pissy pants about. Um, <laughs> if I missed anyone, hello, Brad Example. I hope you're doing well too. Yes, Bubby, you left before the, the beard touching incident. <laughs> 
weird stuff, man. Um, Pete Johns, hello to you. We all rise together and every day gets better. Uh, good stuff. Um, hang on, what's the rest of it here? Email Jade with your mobile number and pass it on to you and send you the code. Yeah, you can do that. You can do that. I can, if you email me your number, I can pass it on to Russ if that's the easiest way to do it because it's really hard to get onto Clubhouse because it's all mobile numbers at the moment and invites and stuff like that. I've been trying to invite a friend from Brazil at the moment and he's just not getting the codes when he tries to add uh, the, ch the um, group and he's getting the messages but not the codes when he signs up and he just sent me an, a text <laughs> and he got like nine codes in a row <laughs> oh technology man you gotta love it uh gary hub says you folks are sleeping on the clubhouse floor we are it's it's quite it's like a sorority house or something it's it's quite demented like we're all drinking there till the sun comes up and waking up in our own vomit and sweat it's quite weird um I saw someone else write something here. I need to scroll back. I think it was. Let me blah, 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 blah. let me see. Can I find it? Um, Barry P. I bought the amp sim that I covered. Overloud THU. Pretty good. Well, I'm covering another guitar app uh, today. And hi, Andy Goldsby as well. Andy Goldsby says it is all getting a bit addictive now. Yeah, look. Uh, there's a bit of a joke when we sit in the clubhouse room. It's like, hi, my name's Jade. Um, I've been on clubhouse for seven days. Um, I'm not addicted. Can I get another hit? <laughs> it is a little bit addicting. Hanging out with cool people and chatting and talking about music and apps and all that kind of stuff and taking the piss and doing the things you can't do in the chat here on uh, YouTube. So it's a, a growing, healthy community. And yesterday, me and Pete... Um, Pete had a show and I helped uh, facilitate it uh, about your music uh, home studio journey and that was really fun as well so I'm thinking we're going to do more of those and and I'm going to do more after shows over there so when we have people on and do an interview we can head over to, then to Clubhouse and hopefully get the person who I've interviewed to come out and you can probably ask them questions on the mic because it's just an audio thing with no typing no video just audio hello deep gravity deep gravity says i'm not cool but i hang there you're cool man you're cool as a kick all righty i've rabbit on uh, long enough uh i should probably should have said this at the start <laughs> if you want to skip to the if you're watching this on the replay and you want to skip to the actual app review too late <laughs> we're already here okie doke let's jump into it today so we're looking at an app called uh, modern deluxe and Modern Lux is a guitar amp sim, and let's get off the bat right now. It's very cheap, which is good. We like cheap, 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 cheapity, cheapity, cheap, very cheap. So it comes in at a uh, dollar ninety nine. Modern Lux, there we are. Modern Lux amp. Uh, I reviewed a while ago a bass amp by the same developer, um, and we had some giveaways for that. So made by the same person. And as you can see by the pictures there, nice and simple to look at. So um, that's it there. Let's open it up and get into it. And uh, I'll play a bit of guitar and maybe a short one today because uh, once again, I have another show after this. I'm doing a Patreon. Uh, so we've got Joey's show after mine. And um, then an hour after Joey's show is finished, I'm doing a Patreon where I'm recording the vocals for the final two tracks on the EP I've been working with, with Kev Hart. You know what? Because we're doing a guitar thing, let's, and it's my rules, I can do whatever I want on this show, can't I? I guess. Let's have a little bit of a sample. Oh, there we go. That's high quality. Good on your garage band. <laughs> let's have a listen to one of the other tracks from the new EP I'm working on with Kev. And this is called, um, this is called Down the Rabbit Hole. Yeah. Oh, it's called Down the Rabbit Hole. And ignore the lyrics on this because there are none. This, this was, I received this track yesterday from Kev to start recording vocals. And I recorded, this was the first take I did for the first time hearing the song, not having any idea what it sounded like. So yeah, just take into account that. 
Oh, oh, there we go. This is a so this is a problem. It seems like with um, GarageBand at the moment and ToneBridge. I hope this isn't a, a, a constant thing. It seems to not be loading up the guitar track. So we'll try that again. Hmm. It doesn't seem to be loading up the. There we go. Okay, so this is the track called Down the Rabbit Hole. It's going to be twisted when I finish writing the lyrics for it and actually f write vocal parts. So that was like the first thing that came to mind. And it's just one take vocals there. You can see there are no words there. So uh, just down the rabbit hole kind of thing. But yeah, exciting stuff. So hopefully we're going to have this EP done sometime this month and released. And it's going to be brutal. And it's going to kick heads in. Is the other song I have, it is so fast, it is so brutal, it is just going to stab you musically. All right, let's open this app now. So, yeah, this app is $1.99, and I'm going to use AUM today to play with this little thing. Um, what else 
do not see here. Did I see somebody else come in? Well, this is uh, I Astrocon. I Astrocon is here as well. So hello to you. Um, we need to add a audio and interface input. So input number two for my guitar. Hopefully it's in tune from playing it last night. But remembering my room gets extremely hot, so that's extremely unlikely. And strings love to go out. Close. Um, close. Lucky we have a tuner. And we'll bring in this app here. So we'll add the app as an AV3, because that's what it is. Um, I'm not sure if it is just iPad or, or uh, let's have a look just to make sure. Is it iPad? <laughs> Good work there, um, App Store. Uh, Modern Deluxe here. I love typing with one finger because I have a guitar in my hand. Modern Deluxe is. So it looks like iPad and Mac. So yeah, it's no iPhone, unfortunately, which is sad because it's not, it doesn't, you know, it's a, you could fit it on fairly easy on an iPhone, I think. But I mean, so it works on Mac. So if you're paying for it for your, uh, so there you go, a dollar, a dollar, is that what it was? A dollar ninety nine. And you're not only getting a guitar sim for your iPad, you can use it on your Mac. It's specifically made for Mac. See, we're starting to see more and more of these iOS apps actually listed for Mac as well. So that's a good thing, I guess. To make this a little bit bigger. So here is your, um, your UI. Nice bright sound there. So uh, if you had seen the uh, other review I did, you'll notice everything is quite similar with this app. So across the top, you actually have your pedal board settings here. So you can, when you click on that, it darkens this screen here. So you can add pedals across here. Um, you've got a tuner. So that's nice and handy. Does it work? But does it work? That's saying that's a B. It's definitely not a B. <laughs> it's saying, cool, that's an A. That's all right. So we're testing the tuner now. So it may not get the letters right, but it seems to get the tuning okay. And no, I'm not tuning in a drop D today. But we can go there. So, tuner works. D did it? No, that doesn't sound good. Man. There we go. Cool. So this is on, uh, this is just turning it on. This is uh, what it sounds like. I don't think it's uh, kept the settings that I had from playing with it. We can tune the t turn the tuner off very easy. Um, so here's your pedal board as well. We'll go across the top first before we jump into the pedal board. Um, like the other app too, it has a built-in uh, uh, drum loop thing going on here. So if you pick a rock loop from here and hit play, um, maybe, maybe, maybe we'll, ah, oh, that's it. You've got to turn the volume up. So you've got, there we go. So when you give the drums some volume. Ten. Get a 
reggae beat in here. They're not, they're not, you know, anything awesome. It's great for practicing. That's what these are for. Definitely for practicing. So yeah, you got plenty of these little beats in here. You even got a bossa nova. Look at that. Good stuff. Uh, thank you very much, Pete, for the super chat. Coffee money for the clubhouse recovery. <laughs> Man, I woke up with a shocking headache today. <laughs> it seriously feels like I've got clubhouse hangover. So you can change the BPM up there as well of your drums. You've got the volume there too. So we can crank that up a little bit louder. And look, there's even a Motown groove. <laughs> I'm not going to risk the copyright strike. Can you feel it? Can you feel Yep, anyway. So that's pretty cool. Uh, you can loop this stuff. So you can uh, change the... Uh, the number of beats and all that kind of stuff that's all good you've got this extra reverb up here i think i'm not sure what that is i actually haven't clicked on that one so and you've got your main out on the end there but let's have a look at the pedals here um so you've got these you've got uh, the availability of i think it's um can you stretch these out so you've got four pedals in each one i think that's right yeah and the way you bring them in, so you've got this up button, which removes them in the middle there, and left and right brings the pedal in. So you've got a vibrato chorus, and we can turn that on. Hello, uh, Lady Rudaline Street. So yeah, you've got uh, you can change the phase mix in here and the speed of your chorus. So the pedals are a little bit little, so maybe maybe that's why they're not on the iPhone. Um, so and just by flicking left or right, you can go through to the next effect. Every time you change uh, pedals. Uh, they they're not automatically on so you have to turn them on each time you change pedals so you got a reverb in here too Let's flick off the drive a bit. Cool. So... And there's a whole bunch, what's really good as we go through this, you'll see there's a whole bunch of different um, reverbs on here. They've, they've kind of been very generous with the uh, amount of reverb styles you have on here. So that's the digital reverb. And if we flick across again, we get a nice tremolo. So again, nice and simple, but it's, it's nice to get some pedals in one of these uh, cabs as well. So I really like that they've included these for a buck 99. It's really decent. So you've got a delay here. Control your feedback, your mix, and the amount of delay uh, we've got a compressor which is nice and handy let's take off 
these boosts here. And you get a number of uh, different kind of fuzz pedals happening as well too. So we've got this uh, fuzz fake, so we'll make sure everything's on clean. <laughs> heading there and you've got a tone drive So again, all these are on basic settings here, so really haven't messed with anything down the bottom, so you can really alter this stuff and uh, get better sound out of these pedals. So you get a 707 drive as well. And I think that's out of that's all of the pedals. So then back to the chorus. So this is your your um, effects chain at the the beginning here. So before your amplifier, and then you've got a, a return send, so you can add effects in here as well. So you can uh, sort out your effects chain nice and nicely that way. And to get rid of them, they just hit the little arrow that points up that says get rid of them. And to remove them from the cab here, and just go back to your standard looking cab just click the little pedal board button and that comes back to your amplifier so everything's nice nice and simple so if we go down here to the bottom uh, you have a whole bunch of cabs here as well uh, uh, speaker boxes down here so you can see there's a nice list of stuff uh, we'll, we'll uh, so and uh, we're on the clean channel one at the moment so this knob, this little switch here, controls uh, which channel you're on. So you've got a clean channel up the top, and uh, both channels have two boosts. So both have a mid boost and a, a just a a main boost. So when you flick between your drive and your clean, um, you do have a noise gate here, which is called a noise cut. So that's handy. A lot of these uh, sims don't have them built in. So that the addition of a a um, noise gate is very welcome uh, you got a detail knob here for both channels as well and you have a five band EQ on both channels clean volume and a drive volumes respectively for the bottom drive channel and clean channel presence and you've got this additional reverb right on the end <laughs> right <laughs> and you can change between the reverbs too with the type one and two 
so that's cool as well so there's plenty of options there i'm going to bring in some drive now take out the reverb and let's flick over to the drive channel <laughs> can flick on the mid boost let's give bring up the uh So you can hear that uh, that uh, noise cut coming in there. Let's go through some of these boxes and hear the difference. What I'm going to do is actually bring in another track and we'll add some drums to this just to play along with. La 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 la. I was actually playing with this last night with a, uh, a Nimbrimi pedal as well. I was going the old school. And for those of you who've uh, played in early thrash metal bands or anything and remember the days when you would have a metal zone and a good old orange boss pedal and you would tape a piece of wood across the two of them. So when you click them both, they came on together. Yes, that's very old school. <laughs> that's what I was trying to get last night, get that effect happening. <laughs> it was quite entertaining for myself. Um, so we want um, rock drummer. We'll just bring in a rock drummer. There we go. And cool. So, as you can see, there's plenty of different cabs there that you can uh, jam along to to get your right sound. I'm going to bring up some more of this. Oops. 
Definitely what I would not be using for grindcore or death metal. It just is what it is. Uh, <laughs> because as you know, I like my really violent uh, guitar sounds. <laughs> So, um, what else do I have to go through on here? So, we've gone through that a little bit. We have clean sounds uh, here too. I'm going to just add in, because <laughs> at the joking clubhouse at the moment, <laughs> just, add, just add black hole to anything, <laughs> and it sounds amazing. Um, so, let's do that. Let's throw on some cool reverb. Uh, hello, howdy doody. Welcome aboard. I'm going to pull the mix back a little bit. Yeah, Mori, I did. I already did a review on the um, on the uh, bass amp. I did that a couple of weeks ago. So this is, but this guitar amp, this actually has been out for a little while. So pretty nice how you can, uh, the, with that clean sound there, you can have that little touch of distortion on it. So we just got a little bit of boost on there and you can just bring in that touch. Just by playing a little bit harder. And uh, let's bring up this body a little bit.
So there we go. Look, it's a very simple app. It's a dollar ninety nine. Um, yeah, so I went ahead and grabbed this because I like having little tricks up my sleeve that I can just open up. And um, sometimes I don't want to open up bias effects and have to wade through something that guzzles down a lot of energy. As you can see here, we've got black hole running. So if we kind of uh, pull that out and see what difference that makes, I don't know if it's going to make much, but, um, and we've got this drum thing running here. So let's get rid of this channel completely. And um, you can see it doesn't take up much, much uh, background memory at all. So it's nice and lightweight. You could probably run a few copies of it if you want and really just uh, mess around with it how you want. It's $1.99, nice and cheap. Good fun. Um, not going to be my go-to to go to anything to do any death metal. <laughs> because uh, I like crunch that melts your brain. Um, but I think it's really cool. I've been playing with it for a couple of weeks. And I actually used it on a track that I'm working on at the moment for this community that we're this um, horror movie thing that we're, I'm working on to put out to the community soon. So I've used it on that. I always try and use these apps on things that I'm working on, even if it's only for a small part, because it's better than leaving them sitting on your iPad forever and ever and then discovering two, two years later that you had this Ace app that you've never opened up before. <laughs> All right, folks, I think that'll do it for today. Um, I have to prepare for a Patreon show. So um, if any of you are on my Patreon, be prepared. So in about an hour and 15 minutes time after Joey Helpish's show, which I should grab a link for before I do anything else because he's kindly provided that for me. Where are we? Where Joey, 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 I can't find you. There you are, there's your link. Okay, and once again, Joey is working, he's uh, doing his How To Song show today, part three, and he's making an album using the Optigan um, app, which we looked at uh, last week, well, this week, who knows, I can't even remember what day of the week it is. Thank you Clubhouse for stealing my life. <laughs> but yeah, in an hour's time, if you are my on my Patreon list, I am doing... Uh, a show where I'm recording vocals for the, this uh, new metal um, metal shack album that we're working on. So feel free to come and join me and throw some ideas, some lyrics, and some ideas to what I should sing. Because uh, the the last song I haven't actually written lyrics for, so I'm not really sure what it's called or anything like that. So you guys can come and help me if you would like. If you're not a Patreon, you can join the Patreon, which is up the top there in the chat banner. Uh, Patreon slash Jade Star. Um, please hit subscribe. Please hit the thumbs up and do all that kind of stuff. And uh, hopefully, if all goes well tomorrow, we should have Heinbach on the show for an interview. So make sure you're going to be here for that. If everything, uh, if the gods smile on us and everything aligns correctly, it all should go down tomorrow. Um, so that should be fun indeed. You know what I'm going to do? I am going to go out today with um, the second the second track that was sent to me by Kev last night. The, the song that doesn't have any lyrics or a song title yet. And you guys can hear how brutal it is straight up. So you get the first taste of how brutal this song is. As I said, I have no idea what it's called. So... Um, I shall see you all tomorrow and I'll play this out and um, thanks for joining me. Have a great day, everybody. Oh, <laughs> see again, listen to that. It's, um, I, I don't know why it's doing this. So I'm going to shut everything down again. Uh, I think it could have something to do with running apps in the background and opening. Uh... There we go. So it seems like it's working now. Cool. All right. So let's kick this off. This is the unnamed, I think it's going to be the opening track on the album. And this is uh, me and Kev Hart, our band Metal Shack. Enjoy.
tomorrow folks Okay, Clubhouse. I'm coming, Clubhouse. I'll see you soon, Clubhouse. I'm coming to get my fix. I love you, Beard. I love you, Beard. <laughs> 